Hi everyone, it's Sandra here, and this is part two of my manure testing. We got some lovely horse manure, courtesy of Jason from Clive's Conundrum Garden. We tested it with some live worms, and the worms survived. So they passed the first test, now the second, and that's to test for aminopyrrolids, which are persistent herbicides that farmers sometimes spray on fields uh, growing hay. Horses don't like thistle and the uh, aminopyrrolids kill thistles and other weeds that um, contaminate the hay. And farmers do this because otherwise they can't sell their hay. The hay is devalued. And so these uh, chemicals are now being shown to persist, hence the name, um, through the gut of the horse or cow or anything that ingests it more so in horses because they've got a shorter gut and come out in the manure, persist in the manure and can get passed on to your garden directly or even if they go through the gut of a worm, if you feed a horse manure to a worm, um, the herbicides nevertheless still come out in the castings and so if you use those castings in your garden, you may be contaminating your garden with those persistent herbicides. Some people say the half-life on these Herbicides, once they've been applied in a well-lit uh, garden, is only six months, but that's an entire growing season. I'm not willing to risk it. It's only February. I've got time on my hands, so I'm going to use these bean seeds to test to see whether the manure that I have in those tubs contains aminopyrrolids. So let me get the soil into the pots, and then I will explain what I'm going to do next. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is my control containers. So I'm just gonna plant, well, let's go crazy. Let's put three bean seeds, kind of make a triangle in each container. That way, if I do have a seed that fails to germinate, I'm not going to assume that that's because of any contaminant in the manure. Uh, it's a good test, you know, just because some seeds just might not be uh, might, might not be as viable. Then it says to bury the seeds by an inch. So I've just got some fresh soil. So I'll put on top of each. Again, suitably dampened the soil. In it goes. So there's my control group. Nicely planted up. No mystery there. So put those in a nice, bright, sunny location, and those beans are away to the races. So now I'm going to do my experimental group. So notice that this white bin is marked with the X, which means these are the ones that are going to have the manure added. So now that I've totally finished with my control group, I can now deal with the soil with manure in it. I want to be careful not to contaminate any of the soil that I have, any of um, you know my tools, certainly my hands will be washed thoroughly because these amino are are going to damage plants at very low concentrations. So I don't want uh, I don't want to get them into any of the other seed starting that I am doing here in my kitchen. So I'm going to now just concentrate on making up this manure uh, mixture. So I've got my tub of dampened soil that I've pre-measured to be enough. So let me just add the manure. This is well-aged. It's been sitting for at least three months. So there are fragments of the horse stall bedding in this. So I'm just going to be mixing this up now thoroughly so that the manure is distributed throughout this planting mixture. Like I said, the concentrations necessary to affect the growth of plants is very low. Beans and tomatoes are apparently very affected with beans showing it earlier than tomatoes, so the test will be over faster. You have to grow the beans to the three true leaf stage. And uh, so, you know, that should take, uh, you know, just about a month or so. So I've mixed up the manure into this soil. So now let me just add it to the pots and we'll plant up the beans. 
So there you are. I've planted up my three bean seeds in each uh, container with the X there on the side. So there you go. So before I touch anything else, I'm going to go wash up my hands, get rid of this contaminated, potentially contaminated soil, and then we just wait. We wait to see whether these pots develop normally. And if they do, uh, bonanza for my worms, all that yummy horse manure, and eventually for my garden. Hello everyone, it's now five weeks later and my bean seeds have grown. I just listened to Troy from the Urban Word Bag Company do a session on bioassays, uh, tests for things like herbicides in soils and manures. You might want to check out their channel and uh, a video dated today, March 15th. And uh, he had a lot to say on how to do it. I did not do it exactly right. I only did two tubs of each. He recommended doing uh, six or even 12 uh, total. So six of each. And you can see why. I'll just zoom in. There are seeds that, you know, are, are just starting to, to come out of the ground and, and make their way up. If that was the only seed I planted, I would go, well, the, the, you know, this is a problem. This one with the three dud seeds in it is actually my control. No manure in that soil. Uh, the soil with the manure in it, I had one dud. That, it's not a dud, it's just a very, very slow bean to grow after five weeks. All right, so let's see the results. This is, they're both blooming. So let me just tell you that I bought some bush bean seeds and I lost them. And so I was trying to do the bioassay, but I couldn't because I lost my bush bean seeds. So Landon was at the hardware store and he grabbed me some seeds. Well, look at how tall they are. They just keep growing on my plant shelves and they're now blooming. All right, so this is the control. Um, so you can see nice, nice healthy leaves here. And so it's, it's three sets of true leaves. So there's one, two, I mean, there's actually more, more like uh, three pairs of true leaves on this big long vine here. Uh, so the control obviously is showing no sign of um, curling or any signs of distress in those leaves. All right, so if I reach down and get one of these manure ones to show you, again, three sets of leaves, one, two, three, again, blooming, not as tall as the control, which is interesting given that it had manure, but it is blooming, so it's at the same stage of blooming. If you're in Canada, the roll up the rim, uh, you're looking for a rolling at the edge of the leaves. And there's no sign of rolling. There's no sign, I mean, that's a tear from me, just, uh, you know, sliding my, my seed trays around on these shelves. So I've torn a few of the leaves, uh, but that's not damage from any herbicide. So the manure is good to go. So thank you, Jason, for the manure. And we will now age it. Well, we are aging it under shrubs in tubs so that the uh, manure tubs are in contact with our wood chips and soil and are benefiting from the worm action that that will bring. I will film that uh, in a few weeks. All right, everyone, that's it for my experiment to test for persistent herbicides. Bye for now.